The case, unlike the 2012 petition, is being presided over by seven justices of the Supreme Court, chaired by Chief Justice Enin Yeboa. The six other justices are Samuel Mafusao, Nene Abayate Amegache, Getru Tokunu, Mariama Ousu, Professor Ashikote, and Yao Apo. Thursday's proceeding seems to have begun on a surprising note for lawyers of the petitioners as attempts to raise a motion for live telecast of proceedings were prevented. According to the bench, the court decided by itself that the proceedings be telecast live and had gone ahead to make arrangements to the effect. Well, before, there is a motion for live transmission as well. We believe that that should perhaps take... Yeah, it's not live transmission. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit confused. You have already done the motion for... No, no, no. Such arrangements should be based on an application to the court rather than an administrative mm. decision. Mm. In, the, in, in the case of the election petition in 2012-2013, um, there seemed to have been an administrative decision made earlier. And then that was brought before the court itself because presumably somebody realized that that administrative decision was not particularly appropriate. And so before the court, the matter was considered. The petitioners later tabled their motion for an amendment of the suit before the Apex Court. It's quite clear that uh, in the petition as filed, um, in a couple of places where you should have read first respondent, it went the other way. And we are seeking uh, to make clear that, for instance, we are not asking for a runoff election between the Electoral Commission and the first respondent. That's, you know, clearly obvious. But lawyers for the first and second respondents opposed the motion on grounds that the motion for amendments in itself contained errors. Let's accept it and proceed with it. Uh, that is very well. Have you made a mistake before in life? That is, that is so. We all make mistakes. And that is why we believe that the petitioner should have been more kind of the innocuous errors made by the first respondent. But my lords, may I make the point then that the applicant will be required to amend again certain of the, 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 the statements in the proposed amendment. Yes, ma'am. Please, you are not conducting their case Very well. for them. Very well. They have gone through the process they had. However, after considering the arguments of the parties, the court agreed for the petitioners to amend their suit. We have considered the application for you to amend the petition we have looked at the nature of the amendment and, and as it does not change the nature of the petitioner's case, we grant the amendment in the tenth stage. Let the amended pieces be found by the close of the day before 4 o'clock p.m. today. A however struck out the motion for live telecast as moot. The case has since been adjourned to Tuesday, January 19. The respondents are at liberty to amend their respective answers to the petition on or before 4 o'clock p.m. tomorrow, Friday, the 15th of January 2021. The petition is thus adjourned to Tuesday, the 19th of January 2021. The motion for live telecast of the proceedings is here by short as much. Well. This has thus set the stage for pre-trial during the next hearing of the case.